This is Peacock Yard in South London, a 19th century workshop enclave now filled with artists and artisans. For 40 years, number 11A has housed the loop making workshop of Stephen Barber and Sandy Harris. Hundreds of exquisite instruments, not only loops, but also an array of other historical plucked instruments, such as the oboes, baroque guitars, and orpharians, have been made here. It is an extraordinary space, testimony to two people's shared lifelong passion for beautiful instruments and peerless craftsmanship. The moulds which line the walls, together with patterns and plans, record the enormous amount of research into historic instruments which Steve and Sandy have undertaken over decades. Their own exquisite instruments include both models copied from the sometimes startling originals, plus many of their own design. Their timber stocks, covering an astonishing array of species, fill the workshop and other storage spaces and include some rescued at the invitation of Kew Gardens after the 1987 hurricane. Here is Steve helping to saw up a storm-felled tree in around 1988. The sometimes unpromising looking raw materials gradually reveal their beauty under Steve and Sandy's skillful hands, being transformed by painstaking work into instruments such as these. Customers travelled from all over the world to collect their beautiful lutes, often staying a while to fill the space with wonderful music, whilst Steve and Sandy also drove their wares to exhibitions all over Europe, becoming well-known figures in the early music world. The workshop has also been a place filled with fun and whimsy. These jars of colourful wood shavings are little souvenirs of particular timbers or striking wood combinations. The space has been home to many cats over the years, but currently has a different furry resident. It's a wonderful, characterful space, filled with the personalities of the two makers who have made it uniquely their own. But unfortunately, Steve and Sandy now need to move. Their thriving business began to suffer in 2014. First they had a fire in the workshop, and then Steve began to feel unwell. His health has continued to deteriorate, and a prolonged quest for a diagnosis eventually yielded the devastating truth, multiple system atrophy. This life-changing condition has made it impossible for Steve, now wheelchair-bound and unable to move or speak, to even leave his home, and Sandy is now his full-time carer. The once bustling workshop with its steep stairs and its obstacle course of tool racks, benches and timber is impossible for Steve to even enter. Steve and Sandy urgently need to relocate to a place better suited to their changed situation. Their relocation costs will be substantial and their need for support as Sandy establishes a new workshop whilst simultaneously caring for Steve will also be considerable. If you would like to make a donation to help them in recognition of the enormous contribution they have both made to the loot over decades, please visit their funding page here. As a thank you for your support, this channel has been created to provide a new permanent home on the web for loot-related material, mostly contributed by Steve and Sandy's past and present customers, amongst whom are many of the world's leading players. New material will be uploaded regularly, so do pay repeat visits. The channel's name was deliberately chosen to keep their iconic workshop address current in loot circles, a little memento for all who have visited and loved this place. Please donate if you can, every little helps, and do please spread the word. Thank you for watching, and enjoy the new online 11A 